Ah, uh, just one more episode. That should be fine. Does this sound like you? Work was so tiring today. I can't start something today. Yeah, tomorrow I will start. Every time we'll do it. We see how we feel productive and putting the stress and anxiety on our chests. It really feels like that we are actually making progress, but in reality, we are not. We find all possible excuses like, tomorrow I have more energy, more inspiration and more time. Tomorrow never comes. You push it off more and more and the pain gets greater and greater because the deadline arrives closer and closer. I mean, just open up your laptop and get your work in. And yet, in practice, it's not so easy. Since I've been working in a 9 to 5 job, studying part time and starting a YouTube channel, people always ask me how can I stay so disciplined and motivated, even find time to go four times to the gym. The biggest changes I've made lie on a daily basis in order to avoid procrastination. The first thing that helps me to get my day started is my cold shower. The cold water on my skin gives me a sudden surge of inspiration and also a kind of motivation. It was the repetition of doing it every single day. Waking up, cold shower. Waking up, cold shower. Working with a to-do list. You can do it the physical way or you can use your calendar. The thing there is, it may seem very stressful at the beginning seeing all these tasks you need to do on that calendar or on your to-do list, but it is a very good strategy to beat procrastination. Just lately I have discussed this with a friend and entrepreneur in the gym. He's already in his 50s. He always finds time to go to the gym. It only takes you about one to two hours to go to the gym. If you create a calendar or a to-do list, then you see exactly in which time slots you have the possibility to do something else and you also see where the temptation for procrastination is the biggest. I'm not doing everything 100% on that calendar, but doing already 50 to 60% out of it sets you apart from the average person. I mean, having a morning routine didn't came naturally. It took me about six months in order to stay consistent with it and also with the gym, it took me about six months in order to make it a lifestyle of mine and even now, if I have a break for a week, it is kind of natural for me to get back into that routine and that's what a to-do list and the calendar does to you. This is an experiment I've been doing in the past few weeks, studying with music. Turn on some deep focus music, no vocals, because then I can't concentrate myself. But it sets me into like a mental flow and that helps me to turn my switch on here and get into productive mode. Apart from that, I work with the Pomodoro technique, so it is kind of a ritual for me that I turn on some deep focus music on YouTube at the same time press my timer on, set it to 30 minutes and then have some productive deep work, have five minutes of breaks and then repeat this cycle four to five times. This one for most workaholic people neglect to get outside, find peacefulness and retank your energy level. Again, find the time spots there and take those 15 to 20 minutes in order to reflect on your life, get outside, get to the fresh air and re-tank your energy levels. And that helped me a lot in the past to refocus again. At the end of the day, that helps as well to avoid procrastination. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Get rid of distractions. This one is not always easy. What I do, most of the time I can work with my phone next to me on my desk. I have it upside down and I can get mostly the work done, but sometimes I just throw it into my bed. So I get rid of these distractions. But one thing I've learned from a 
dopamine detox video. We just move from one distractions to another. The thing there was I was just scrolling on newspapers which I didn't even actually care that much. So keep an eye out on these distractions in order to get out of that procrastination cycle. Since I'm using these strategies, I'm a much more locked in and productive person. There is probably nothing magical about these activities or the combination of these activities. But the consistency and the willingness to be different on this planet gives me that extra boost. All of these activities are rituals which get kicked off with some sorts of small habits. And if you are a person who always gets stuck in ruts, you need to watch this video.